Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video I get a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates for you guys, and the first one is a little bit of an update from uh, Hadi Japan. For some reason, I guess he's trying to stay mysterious, Hadi is not really posting a lot of like proper physique updates where he's posing, where he's showing his entire physique, we get a little bit of like a couple of snippets like this, but we can also get a pretty good idea of where he's at body fat percent wise, like hardness wise, you know, fullness, roundness and everything like that, size and like in the previous update he was basically showing only his shoulders and his arms and some of you guys commented and that comment actually made a lot of sense like don't pay too much attention to his shoulders and arms because they're full of sintel look at his like back and his chest and here he's wearing a stringer so we can actually see a lot of his back and of his chest so let's take a look at it let's go from the front first so yeah the lighting in this gym is not as good as the lighting in the mi40 gym where derek lansford is taking his photos or where samson dowara is taking his photos but still it's very clear basically you can see exactly what he looks like in these areas that are showing here and what can we see at uh, two weeks, two and a half weeks out of Mr. Olympia? Is Hari Chopin at his absolute biggest at this part of the prep? No, no. I mean, his shoulders to me, at least, they look like they're almost downsized. I would say the same thing proud about his arms. And like the chest, I don't see any, any veins, any vascularity, any, any striations, nothing really. Overall, he doesn't look huge, he doesn't look super shredded, super hard. I'm really not impressed with what I'm seeing. I mean, from Hadi. Like last year, I mean this year, earlier this year, before the Iron Classic, in all of his updates, he looked insane. Especially at two and a half weeks out. In the videos, in the snippets like this, exactly the same. I'm not seeing that this time around. Look, I mean, it's probably not as bad as it seems in this video and like all of these videos so far. He is probably a lot better than it seems. But again, what I'm seeing here, it's definitely very underwhelming. Like the conditioning in the back here, he looks like he's like 15 weeks out. I mean, again, this is probably just the lighting and... The fact that he's not really posing, he's just walking, but still, still, guys, I would like to see a little bit better look at this point in prep. I said I'm gonna make a prediction video after Samson does France, so in a couple of days, basically, next week. And so far, I was, like, torn between Hadi and Samson for that win. I thought Hadi was probably the favorite, and Samson is my favorite physique, personally. I thought Derek won't be able to win again. But at this point, from what I'm seeing these days, unless he posts something really impressive, in my prediction video right now, I would have him probably, maybe even like out of top three. You know, actually, if I did a prediction video right now, I would probably have Hadi in like in fifth. I would put Derek and Samson in the top two, and then Nick Walker and uh, Samson Dauda in the top four, and then I would probably say Hadi. Because what I'm seeing these days doesn't look very good. Like, throughout this prep, at like, I don't know, 10 weeks out, 12 weeks out, 8 weeks out, he actually looked very good. He looked like he was bringing something insane. But lately, it looks like something is off, something is wrong. Again, I could be totally wrong. This could be all perceived wrongly because he's posting, like, not super impressive videos and photos. But that's what I'm seeing, guys. That's all I'm seeing. If you see these photos and videos differently, you can tell me down below. Or, I don't know, if you're not even basing your prediction based on these videos, that's also fine. This is my job. I decided to make a video every single day. And I'm talking about whatever is going on. And this is what is posted on Instagram. So, you know, I'm looking at this and I have opinions. I'm looking at this and I'm not super impressed. I don't think this is a bodybuilder that is about to win the, the biggest title in the world. You know, I don't see it. But if tomorrow he posts a, a posing video and like he shows his legs and his chest and his midsection and so on, and he looks crazy good, that might change. You know, maybe like after the friends in my prediction video, I actually put Hadi in first. I don't know. But at this point, no, no, I'm definitely worried. I'm looking at his photos and, and videos and I'm like, doesn't look good. Something is off. That's the way I see it. If you guys see it otherwise, tell me down below.
All right, the next thing is something, it's a very touchy subject. I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want too many hate comments. It's about Chris Bumstead, and unless it's super positive about him, everybody gets riled up. <laughs> and a lot of people actually sent me this update a couple of days ago and told me to pay attention to Chris's biceps. Is there something wrong with them? And I was like, there is nothing wrong. That's what his biceps are looking like usually, especially after those uh, tears he had. Like, his biceps are never very good, and they won't be good this year, but this is the way they look like, this is no news. But since you guys are asking, I thought I should make a video about it, and probably use this photo as my uh, clickbait in the thumbnail, because there is a whole bunch of people who don't really follow bodybuilding too much, but they do follow Chris Bumstead, so maybe after they see this, they click on it, they actually see what is going on in bodybuilding, and they decide to stay and watch this channel, let's hope so. So if you are here, and I hooked you, I, I caught you, <laughs> and you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button if you want to see more stories about bodybuilding. Now back to Chris's biceps, again, they are not looking any worse than last year, I don't think so. Did they get any more shortened? Like, did that tendon get uh, prolongated? Which is what happens with bodybuilders after a certain age and after injuries as well, after tears, like it happened to uh, Dorian Yates, for example. I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I think this is the way his biceps always looked. Yeah, it's going to be a problem against Wesley Research, who basically has perfect biceps. They are long, they are peaky as well, they are basically perfectly symmetrical, they are one of the best biceps in the world right now. And the whole pose, front double bicep pose, is a very good pose of Wesley, but I'm not even sure if it is a better pose than Chris Bumstead's front double bicep. I mean, yeah, Chris's biceps are terrible, but everything else, man, like the size of the waist, the lat pop, those lats are popping insanely, which is basically one of the most important things if you want to look classic, like you need to have popping lats from the front, uh, like the, the, the legs, the thickness, you know, the inside part of the quads, like the, the, the adductors and like the details as well, I mean, there are injuries, so they're not super perfectly symmetrical, but like a bunch of details, crazy granity look, you know, hardness, graininess, details everywhere, crazy conditioning, just the shape overall, the structure, the length of the legs compared to the length of the torso, the biceps, horrible, but that's not the whole point of this, of this pose, so just having screwed up biceps is not gonna prevent him from winning, and again, I don't think they're looking any worse, they're probably the same as always, maybe they got a little bit worse, we'll see on stage, but still, still, it's not all about the biceps, uh, Chris Bumstead is like 99.9% .9 going to win again. Now, off to a little bit less mainstream topics. Hopefully, you guys who are just the fans of Chris Bumstead and not super hardcore fans of bodybuilding will stay and hear me out about the other guys, like William Bonek, who also posted a physique update at three weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And yeah, he is looking great. He's looking very good. And he says basically in the description of his post that he has no expectations this year and that he feels much more relaxed because there are no expectations, and as far as where he's going to place, I mean, I personally probably don't have him in my top 10, but maybe I should include him, because I made a mistake about Bonek recently, when I thought uh, Nick Strength and Power was crazy for putting him ahead of Krijo and Bekrus Tabani. I mean, in my opinion, Bekrus was still better at that show, I thought they gifted a victory to Bonek for some reason, I don't know why, and uh, Krizio was completely off because of his shoulder injury, so realistically, I think Bonek would probably have been third if everything was well, if the judging was done properly, and if Krizio was 100% on, but uh, still I was wrong, you know, and Bonek came in, actually he looked much better than I thought he would look, and he's probably going to be you know, very consistent at the Mr. Olympia, he's still going to be probably peaked well, he also has Stefan Kinzel in his corner, who is going to get him shredded and, and full and fully peaked, and Bonak also did make significant improvements from like last year, or like the year before, because he started like failing um, towards the end of 2022, basically, and then 2024, he was surprisingly better, he improved his legs, he was overall more conditioned, uh, better peaked, so he can be, he can be very dangerous at the Mr. Olympia, like, he has a lot of strong points, he's a very thick guy who also knows how to bring conditioning, and he looks great for three weeks out, maybe he's going to be in that top 10 after all, what do you guys think? What about this guy, John Jewett, is he going to be in the top 10 at the Mr. Olympia? 
I don't know, but I can tell you that right now he is looking phenomenal, like he is actually really big and really conditioned. Like look at the striations in his glutes, in his side leg, in his chest. I mean, not a lot of bodybuilders have this sort of graininess at this point in prep. And basically what he says in his caption, look at the glutes right here, peeled man, the back as well. And he's a, he's a big guy actually. Now again, what he says in the description of this post is that he's done dieting actually. And I think he was done at actually like at four weeks out. And you can see right here what how much he's eating at this point and maintaining his conditioning like by eating 320 grams of protein every day and 540 grams of carbs on his training days with 50 freaking grams of fat. And on his rest days, which is basically twice every eight days only, he's only decreasing the carbs to 275. That's a lot of food, man. That's a lot of food to maintain this sort of conditioning. He's, he's not suffering. He's probably force-feeding at this point. And he, he's doing no cardio, zero cardio, none. Only 10k steps a day, which is very normal if you are active, if you, are, if you have a job that is requiring you to move around, if you are, for example, a personal trainer. Personal trainers move like 20k steps a day, easy. So that's nothing, like he's not doing any cardio, he's eating basically as much as I'm eating in the off season, and he's 235.8, which is a huge jump considering that he was in the 212 last year. I mean, that wasn't his real weight, he had to suffer, like, to dehydrate himself a little bit too much to make that weight, but, like, he was, uh, realistically, with this kind of conditioning and fullness, he was maybe 220, so, you know, he added, like, 15 pounds of freaking muscle in a year, which is insane, so, with that much muscle, with this conditioning, not the prettiest structure, though, but, like, with this much freak factor, I don't know, he might be one of those guys who actually cracked the top 10 and surprised us all, it's not impossible. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.